Yes. So uh, now I'm. Uh, I would like to uh, present my uh, research proposal is with the title "Long Term Stability Evaluation of Underground Constructions by Considering the Variability of Rock Masses with High Dimensional Moral Representation." Uh, in this. Uh, this work has uh, five parts. First of all, I will show the context and the objectives, methodology, and some problems will be present in the next parts. Last but not least, some conclusion and perspectives. You can see uh, this is a project that I work in France. Uh, it called the CZO SHIM. Uh, this project uh, belong to the ANDRA, uh, the agency of uh, uh, radioactive in France. And um, the rock mass I consider called Calogo Oxfordian, uh, shortly COX. It uh, in the, the mid, about minus uh, 500 meters. Pictures and in this uh, photos, you can see uh, the underground research laboratory uh, has uh, been uh, conducted in uh, 2000, uh, about 20 years, 22 years. It developed about 2.2 kilometer in underground and. Uh, they have uh, many, many uh, axes and uh, deep drips. And the, you can see here the uh, stretch in uh, the major and the horizontal is quite quite the same, but in the in the vertical, in the other side is different. As you can see sigma uh, upper art upper upper edge about 16 MPA, while the, uh, in other side about 12.2 or 12.7 MPA. It, it means uh, that it should be considered in an isotropic case. And the, the context, I will also um, consider the time dependent because you can see in um, uh, this, uh, displacement of the uh, observation in the field uh, so that the vertical and the horizontal is different, very different. And the uncertainty also, you can see the, the, the mean and the standard vision in each, in each uh, hole, in each, uh, each side is also different. And did not only in um, uncertainty in the in each hole, but between um, they have a relationship between the space, and that that why I also consider the variability that it it did is a aleatoric uncertainty, and the source of uncertainty in geometric material properties and I show you there are two parts, epistemic and aleatoric. So in um, in uh, the cons consider problem, I will uh, consider the spatial variability. And in fact, uh, in, um, the recent research, they uh, also consider this problem and uh, they um they have to they have a lot of research but uh, still have uh, some few uh, is uh, need to develop more so the the main objectives of, uh, of my research is how to quantify the uncertainty of time dependent and um, its effect on the long term stability of underground structure. 
and the scope of study I will consider only the uh, rock mass. It means uh, the baby behavior, the mechanic behavior only of the rock mass. If a cone is the variable uh, x, so the the performance function will be uh, will be the s. This at I at um, the acceptance probability or the failure probability of its strength regard to allowable stats. This is a quite simple um, equation, but um, this is um, need to calculate a lot of things to do, to ha have a real performance function uh, because it's not easy to uh, to uh, computation the maximum equivalent stress. And the time period that I consider is about 100 years. And you can see here that is a stream in lifetime. And I consider the heterogeneity, anisotropy, nonlinearity, grip, and plasticity. Uh, the workflow that I uh, have is uh, the first I um, find need to find need to find an appropriate method. Then I validate and uh, check with uh, uh, with uh, some academic example, it's very popular uh, equation or as an equation system. Then I also apply to the linear physical plastic drop. That means it is has uh, the closed form solution that I published in two thousand and nineteen, and then I uh, I extend I continue it to uncertainty and um, RTM, HDM are problems. It means I apply it to real, real problems with uh, the, the side uh, input data. And also uh, in the next step, it will be in the variability problem. It means uh, the, the data between um, between each location have a correlation. It calls correlation length, and I use the random field to uh, to incorporate incorporate it. And the the rock here, I also apply the viscoplastic. It's uh, quite real than the viscoelastic that I that have a, a closed form solution. And in the next step. The methodology um, I focus is uh, combine the Monte Carlo simulation with the uh, active learning critching based method, and um, and uh, as I mentioned before, so the first I will uh, try to um, validate in the closed form solution is called viscoelastic boxer drops, and. With the, and the second, I apply to the uh, the numeric model that I use the cost aster software. Uh, it it is a open source, so that I can use Python to write code to uh, control to uh, uh, post. Uh, yes, to to see the graph and everything I can use in Python and. Uh, Saloma Salome Mika that um, developed by ED, EDF, the electric uh, uh, of uh, France. And the viscoplastic behavior of uh, the rock marks, I select the limit, uh, limit model as uh, in the screen. And the results that I um, use in uh, this pro this uncertainty is uh, uh, about 80, 88 samples. And uh, in next step, it is in, uh, results of uh, results of the deterministic problem with the uh, uh, two function two uh, performance function re related to the uh, 
the stress and the deformation on the result. And uh, for the reliability analysis problem, I uh, apply the methodology that I propose and I compare it to the some uh, some result that I uh, consider before. It means I consider with the deterministic problem and also it will be considered with the uh, variability problem later. Yeah, this is a variability problem. And I use the random fields for the spatial, the spatial variability of the uh, rock properties. And I consider four parameters for uh, random fields. And here I also use the uh, high dimensional uh, modern representation that call uh, cut HDMR2. That is um, the second, the second type of this method. Some uh, result of the variability problem show here with the isotopic case and anisotopic case. And uh, the result of deterministic problem to uh, to 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 compare the uncertainty and the anisotopic of uh, the problem. As again, some uh, some uh, probability uh, of failure results I show with the, some uh, threshold in the second uh, liner. Which mean it means also in the in the variability problem with the two random fields. Uh, the first and the last uh, variable. And there are a lot of cases, but in this slide, I also um, show two cases that consider in the right, in the left with the isotopic case, and in the right with the anisotopic case. And I also compare the uh, number of variables when we use the the variable it in the case of uh, four, 48 uh, variables it take a lot a lot of time if I we don't use at uh, the method of uh, uh, HDMR so that's why we need to use it to um, reduce the time and the uh, the uh, to increase the accuracy and here the, the hdmr method we use is a the second one that use and then we um, combine this to the critical method at each mid meta model here's the, the follow chart of uh, both methods that we use to uh, to um, use in um, both uh, MATLAB and um, code aster we use automatically we use uh, we uh, click run in code aster then uh, whenever it has result it come it calls the MATLAB to uh, to uh, to select the suitable input and then it repeat repeat again and and it uh, converts when the criteria criteria on the learning uh, satisfy, then uh, uh, the, the the loop is repeat if uh, if the satisfy has the uh, conversion. And there are some uh, comparison between the uh, the cut HDMR and the uncertainty problem. Here, uh, this is uh, uh, the proposed uh, IK HDMR2 that, that I, I want to develop more because in the in my PD thesis, uh, I don't have time and I, 
I don't have uh, um, research more, much more about this uh, function, but uh, at now and and in this proposal, we can develop it much more better to to um, um, obtain my uh, my objectives. And uh, the last relate to some conclusions and uh, that uh, I uh, highlight here is application the high dimensional moral representation with both um, the first order and the second order. And uh, we will also uh, extend it to the three, 3D model. It means in the RIN um, project, it must use the uh, um, 3D uh, for the vulnerability problem because it not only uh, uncertainty in the uh, in the same uh, level but on it also variable in the in the depth and of course in the that is the per perspective also and and now I will show you the the main proposal that I send you here. Could you see the, the word file? Uh, no, I'm still seeing the uh, uh, PowerPoint. Oh, sorry. I will stop share and I can share again. Okay. Mm. So, yes. yeah, thank you. So this is the main purpose that uh, I will, uh, if you, uh, I, I wish you to have some comments and I then I uh, upload this in the platform of the Fulbright uh, scholarship. You can see here that I ha have highlighted some keywords. As I said, I will consider the long term behavior and the uncertainty with uh, uh, the fact that we use, uh, there are a lot of uncertainties related to the model, related to uh, the input parameters, and related to the physical system. So uh, I will focus on the first one. Here, the model input parameters, and uh, in the technic engineering application, the uh, property of uh, uh, geological formulation as uncertainty, and they are naturally very inspired. That also did is a variability as much variability, and. You can see here that I have uh, some highlight to for you to read quickly. And there are two main objectives of the proposal. The first, I will uh, propose the new approach or new method to estimate the value of probability uh, with the high dimension probability problem. And of course, uh, this uh, scholarship have, um, have us to conduct the research and uh, to have a lot of benefits for my students' research center and uh, university in Vietnam. And this can solve, can solve some uh, significant projects such as deep tunnel. You know, in Hanoi and city in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, there are a lot of tunnels. They will invest and develop um, depot and depot. They need to have uh, uh, dig uh, some uh, tunnel to uh, uh, radioactive waste in um, the south of Vietnam, and but they don't have um, the 
they don't have a, 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 a suitable research and they don't have the uh, some um, some proof that it saves and that it could be uh, invest in Vietnam and it's also uh, related to some uh, hydroelectric dam and sea level in uh, due to climate change. You know, uh, the climate change nowadays is very important in all the world, especially in the Asian, there are a lot of strong uh, storms and a lot of uh, uh, tornado or something like that. And as I said, the meteorology here in the slide, and we also uh, mentioned the significant the this uh, proposal can play a critical role in this regard, and this uh, will be useful to Vietnam scientists in the field of geotechnical engineering, and. Uh, based on this, the Vietnamese government and private sector will be uh, mitigate these climate change factors. And also, um, uh, we, we want to explain our knowledge and experiment when we work uh, with uh, your collaboration, your uh, American colleges. And the most important factor in my Harding University here, you can see our students can get in touch with uh, the cutting edge knowledge and experiment. And we, uh, we uh, I mean, uh, our lecturer and our university have a lot of chance to uh, contact, uh, to, um, uh, to, to cooperate with uh, some uh, another, um, University or another or university business, not only in the US, but also we can use, uh, we can contact with the uh, with the Asian country, with the European European countries. Since we have the good background, we have a a, a, a strong uh, strong knowledge, and we have a, a good overview. So and then. Uh, we can uh, have a chance to develop the Hating, Hating province. As you can see, it is a very small and very poor province. So if if me and some uh, people like me can have uh, this a good chance, uh, we can step by step um, uh, make, make uh, our province is in the major urban center in the north central region of Vietnam. And yeah, yeah, also I, uh, I would like to uh, to put your name in the, the this part if you agree because it is just proposal. I that's why I need you to agree for my proposal. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yes, that's it for my presentation. Okay. Um. So could I ask uh, a couple of questions? Yeah, let me, me I would increase my volume. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, so I actually had a, a couple of technical questions on your, your presentation. Um, could could you would you would you mind sharing it again, please, for just a minute? The 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 PowerPoint or or this? Yes, board? please. Yes. Okay. So which which slide? Uh... Um, maybe it was slide like twenty three or twenty four or something like that. It's when you first laid out your covariance. Uh, right back there, I think, 23. 
Yes, please. Yes. Here. Yeah. The okay, you say four of the random fields share the same correlation lengths. So they vary in terms of means and standard deviations then? So uh in fact that uh each uh random field must have a um its correlation, but for uh, for um, simplicity, so I assume they have the same. That is, oh, sorry. Oh. oh, so so I think I understand. So yeah. they they don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, the same correlation lengths as each other, but they have the same correlation length in the horizontal and vertical directions. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So, so now I understand. Um, I think that this is, uh, uh, a fascinating problem. Um, and, and I think that you make a very compelling case for, um, this HDMR approach, um, you know, from, a. um, the computational expense standpoint, right? That that um, you know you can uh, uh, solve problems in in a, a much more efficient manner um, using this approach. Um, one thing that that I, I should say is that you know I, I've got certainly some expertise in numerical methods. Um, I know some things, uh, you know, about Krieging and a little bit about geostatistics and stuff, um, but I, I know relatively less about rock, um, and and in general, some of the tools that you are proposing to use are not specifically in my sphere of expertise. Yes. Um, I, I'm comfortable working with you on them um, and learning as I go along. But I, I don't know how um, important that is to you. Mm -hmm. So which uh, which part in uh, uh, my presentation that can be uh, justify or uh, change a little bit too suitable for your research? Uh, I I think that that um, what you're proposing. Um, is is fine as it is from from my standpoint. I, I think it's a it's a compelling project. Um, I just don't want to uh, uh, give the impression that this is something that I am an expert in. Right. That th this is generally well aligned with the types of things that I do, but the specifics of this research are 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 not things that I am an expert at. Mm -hmm. I see. And and is that's okay with me? If that's okay with you? Yeah. Okay. So, um, what would you need now from me? Would Would you like me to, um, make some comments on? your proposal yes. and and send back to you for your your consideration yeah and okay and uh, the, the the most important here is uh, about the uh, the lab so in uh, sorry the, the letter of uh, intervention i i will Okay. There are a lot. They they need have the letter of invitation. Uh, this is a prefer, but not required. But uh, in uh, the comparison between um, the candidates, if someone have uh, the letter of invitation, they uh, 
nearly almost uh, will be the selection. Uh, okay. Yes. So if you can, could you please uh, uh, ask your uh, department or your or your university to have a, a simple letter invitation? Invitation. Yes. Invitation. Okay. Um. Do you happen to have an example of such a letter so that I would know what to be sure to include in that? Ah, yes. I will ask my uh, college. They, they, uh, she has on, on so in the US now, she has uh, uh, the same uh, scholarship. So I will ask her for, okay. the, for the them. For that, that's something I can definitely do. Yes. Um, is is get you that letter, and and, uh, and the, the CV I also update uh, since I have a a lecturer just come uh, to her thing. She he has he is from the US, so he checked me my CV, and now I will share. Do you see see my CV on your screen? Uh, no, I'm still seeing the the PowerPoint. Ah, okay. This TV, okay. Yeah, I will change. I delete my uh, uh, my birthday and my my sex because uh, some sometimes they don't want the ring, don't want to know the ring age or the sex, but they. They don't want men or they don't want a woman or something like that. And and then I have changed a little bit. Okay. Yes. If you have any idea to please tell me. And uh, may I ask you uh, in your uh, laboratory or in your university, uh, do you often use MATLAB? Do you, be, uh, do you equal it? EQLab or Mathematica or Abacus? Which? Uh, I, I use MATLAB frequently. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't really use um, Mathematica or Abacus, but we have it. Oh, the okay. university has it, I think. Yes, um, and I don't know what EQLab is, EQLab. Ah, yes, it is, it is a, a, a tool very strong tool for MATLAB and for uh, mathematics also. So it can um, use in another software to, okay. yes, to, um, to solve the uncertainty problem. Yes. I see. Yeah. And also my publication, my uh, grants and awards, I have uh, changed a little bit. Uh, yes. And uh, I also a member of uh, of the scientific journal. We I and um, and uh, Doctor Ha Minh Cương uh, want to be um, develop a scientific journal based on our conference. Is uh, relate to the climate change in construction. So it is very, it very interesting, and this is my uh, motivation to uh, to develop to um, uh, develop my career and develop my relationship because it's very important in Vietnam also in the world. So it uh, will be connect to many many people. So it is a uh, the community service that we that uh, we have uh, some work, and I think it should be two or three years to finish the uh, uh, to uh, success have a journal. Yes. Okay. Um. And perhaps. May, oh, oh yes. wait, One more. May I ask you? Uh, in my references or not, because I, uh, before I put it here. So, 
Yes, that would be fine. Okay, I will put it later. So, so and do you have any idea about the uh, uh, comment about my CV? Sure, you know, I, I think that maybe what would be uh, uh, most helpful for me is if, you know, since since I need to provide comments on your proposal also, yeah. Okay. Uh, if if you send me the, this file. most uh, th this most recent version, yeah, the word file of your proposal, also the most recent word file of your CV, yes. I can comment on both of them at the same time and return them to you. Yeah. Would that be okay? Yes. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now is the uh, hapatik in your in your time, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Is is half past six? Yes. PM? Yes. So it is. It, you could be hungry, yeah, right? <laughs> Indeed. So um, I I I'm uh I'm I'm very excited about this uh twin, and and I think that uh uh in in my mind I think that you have a uh very good chance of being successful. Uh, with your application, and um, I will uh, work to get the documents back to you uh, very quickly after I, I receive them from you because I, I don't want to hold you up. I want I want you to be able to get this submitted. Yeah, thank you so much, and I will send to you now. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So uh, there are two files. The first is a uh, proposal re result, and the second is a CV. Anything else? I, I think that's all for now. Okay, thank you. And I will send the template intervention later. Oh, right, right. Yes, and the, an example of the, the, the letter would be helpful. Yeah. So uh, I think we have a uh, uh, an idea of what is needed from me now, right? Yes. Let's see if yes, I already, already sent it to you. Okay. 